Hey guys, it's Mira, and welcome to another video. As you can tell by the video, this is about Charlie Gold. And if you're a Charlie Gold fan, you're going to hate it. So settle in for what I have to say. So let's talk about all the tea when it comes to Charlie. Um, first of all, if you don't know who she is, uh, she's a weight loss YouTuber. She's got like 130K subs. Um, she's been on YouTube since 2016, but I think there was like a big, um, gap in time between her first video and filming more videos. And then she posted, um, like a handful of weight loss videos. And then she moved on to the fat women reactions like Amberlynn and Chantal. She really, really blew up over her Amberlynn reactions. And that's how she ended up at 130k subscribers. I think what happened with Charlie Gold is that she got really big really fast and she didn't know how to handle it. I believe she has a daytime job and having 130 subscribers is really kind of a lot of work. You have to or you should have an upload schedule and just I think running a channel in general if you're going to be doing lives and all that stuff and then you have like a regular job it's going to be pretty difficult so she hasn't posted a video at all since may 6th and today is june 12th she's lost about um 3,000 subs just recently and it's been due to drama and fights that she's been having with other reactors and obviously the people that she reacts to. She started a Facebook for obesity support, but she doesn't seem to be able to run a group that size either. It's like two to three K it like fluctuates around there and it takes like a really dedicated group of people to run such a big Facebook group. Like, I think she intended this to be, like, her brand. It was a weight loss group. It, like, re was supposed to revolve around her. And I have a Facebook group that has only 600 members. And it's difficult for me and my one admin to, you know, police pose, decide what we're going to put up. And we're just, we're nothing like a, like a weight loss group. We're an Art Bell appreciation group. So... It's completely different and it's just, it's too much for her. She um, has completely mismanaged her chance to become a fitness community inspiration, really. Uh, all these people that look to her for motivation are completely being left in the dust. Her weight loss content has become absolutely non-existent. She's only doing reactions. And weight loss is where she started. And frankly, I think it's where she should be. Um, she says she's lost all this weight and I see that she's definitely lost some weight. She's got a pinned tweet to her Twitter that's extremely old, but it shows that she had lost like a nice amount of weight. It has like comparison pictures. Um, she was talking about when she was a weight loss channel, a lot about like, loving herself and being okay with who she was, but also just wanting to be healthy and to be happy. And instead of doing that, she just became like an extreme reactor. And all she does is bully with name calling in her videos, like, where's the weight loss? Where's the inspiration? Um, I don't even call, you know, I'm, I react to Amber. I have a, I, a, a, special place in my heart for Amber. Um, I absolutely hate her. I think the things that she've done, she's done in her life that we've seen are completely unforgivable. And I feel like if these are the things she's done that we know about, like what hasn't she done, you know, but I don't call Amber names. Um, Charlie calls her names like pig and disgusting and uh fridge um she makes fun of her ass it's just it's a really low mentality type of content 
and she's become a huge bully to Chantal, who totally doesn't deserve it. You know my opinion on Chantal if you've seen my other videos. So the controversy is that she recently offered to give away two training sessions. She had bought three and she offered to give away two of them. But she allegedly so far has not awarded these training sessions. And it actually turns out that per sweepstakes rules in her state of Florida where she lives, the details of the giveaway made it unlawful, allegedly. So Charlie's criticisms of Amberlynn, like they never involve Amberlynn's horrible actions. And just quickly, because I don't like to miss a chance to throw it in there, um, quickly Amberlynn has falsely accused her ex of rape. We've watched her abuse a cat. She has created her dog's obesity. And even once when the dog was extremely, extremely sick, in, in Amber's words, quote, shaking in pain, instead of going to the vet with the dog, Amber left the dog home and went out to eat. She um, has lied, she's gaslit, she's manipulated, she's taken uh, advantage of people who I believe to be mentally challenged, also mentally ill. She equated pedophilia, P-E-D-O-S, to being LGBT, having depression, or having cancer, when she's allegedly LGBT herself. So she's an absolute awful person, but still, I will say that Charlie's reactions to her are definitely just bullying. She says her hands look like Thanos's hands. She calls her a pig and other childish things, like schoolyard things, like you know, when you were told as a kid or you tell your kids now, if someone bullies you, it's just because they're insecure about their own selves. That's what's going on here because she calls Chantal the Michelin man. She calls her a fridge. She calls her a pig. She says foodie booty is trash for monetizing her ED, but she reacts to Chantal's mukbangs. So who's monetizing the ED? She herself has not succeeded. She doesn't even seem to be trying to get healthier. Like she has said many times that she would stop reacting and then her views go down and she's right back to it. Um, and she plays their entire videos and just makes faces. And she call like, technically she's calling that, um, transformative. Like what? Like she's saying they're fair use. It's not fair use to play someone's entire video and just sit on the side like this and make these ugly, exaggerated, disgusted faces. Like, that's not, that's not content. Like, not, like, let's not get it twisted. I trash Amber, but I'm not calling her names like a kid in a schoolyard. I'm not playing her video and making faces. I'm writing a script about my opinions and I'm voicing them. I do not consider what Charlie does as fair use. She calls those girls lazy. She calls what Chantal and Amber does lazy content. And I will agree. Amber's content is absolutely lazy. Chantal's content, she tries a little bit harder, but she could also do a little bit better. But, um, Charlie, I almost said Chantal, Charlie is absolutely the laziest of them all because she doesn't attack people for their actions. She just goes right after their looks. And that's really immature. And she talks shit on Chantal for hiding in her car to eat. Like, are you so dense that you don't think that feeling shame for addiction causes you to hide it? Like, it's low as hell to pull the addict card and then make fun of somebody for their addiction. She made this challenge for Amber. Here's where we get to the point of this video. She made a challenge for Amber, and it was a weight loss challenge for charity. She even bought the same scale as Amber Lynn. She said Amber would be a coward for not taking the challenge. She said over and over again, Amber has no reason not to do this if she's really trying. Amber Lynn has no reason to not do this if she is doing what she says she's doing. And Amber ignored her. She didn't address it. She just completely ignored it. So Charlie said that she would keep doing her end of the challenge, but she didn't. And then she went back on it and she didn't lose any weight and she never brought her weight loss challenge back. And she gave this pussy excuse of, quote, I do what I want. So 
she automatically loses as far as I'm concerned. She lost. She was, she was the one who was the coward. She was the one who couldn't take the challenge. So now she gives herself this new challenge of hitting 220 pounds. And she said she'll delete her channel if she doesn't hit it. But she hasn't posted in a month and she looks completely unchanged in the last couple months worth of videos that I watched last night. She looks exactly the same. So bottom line, I think Charlie is completely problematic and I don't fucking like you, Charlie. So now I'm not going to bring this drama to my weight loss channel. Um, I have a weight loss channel called Plant Based Mirror Weight Loss. And there's only two videos on there so far. Tonight, I have to film a um, weigh-in and a body check because I do them once a month. They're also on my Instagram, Plant Based Mira. Um, so, the, so the Instagram and the YouTube video will be going up tonight with my body check and my... Um, weight update I, the body check is not going on youtube because i am not dealing with all those comments about me in a bikini okay it's just not happening um so charlie since you love challenges so much i'm gonna take you on i'll be tagging you on twitter to make sure you see this i'm gonna guess that we are about the same size i'm around 225 we'll find out exact i mean no Two, I wish I was 225. I'm around 255. Um, so I'm going to do the weigh-in tonight. And how about I give you until today is, is today Friday? How about I give you until Monday? I'll give you until Monday to do your weigh-in and we'll start Monday. I'll do another weigh-in Monday and we'll start Monday. So that gives you a couple days to get ready. And here's the deal. One month. We will compete for one month, just like you and Amber were going to do, to see who can lose the most weight. We can make update videos as much as we want in that month's time, but on July 15th, let's say 15th because we're doing Monday, but on July 15th, we will have our final weigh-ins. And whoever loses the least weight deletes their channel. Now, I understand that you have 130K subscribers, but... A lot of people aren't watching anymore. Let's get that right. And you're not even putting up videos anymore anyway. And it's been over a month. I only have 111 subscribers as of right now. But I'm doing really good. Um, I'm increasing at a, I think, fairly good rate. Um, and I really love YouTube. I am really enjoying having a YouTube channel and doing all this. But I will put it up for this weight loss challenge. So whoever loses the least weight deletes their channel. If you want to change the um, rules of the challenge, you go ahead, DM me on Twitter. I'm going to be tagging you anyway, so you'll have my Twitter. Um, DM me on Twitter and we can discuss the rules. If you want to change anything, that's fine. Um, people hate us both. Like that's the bottom line. People hate us both. So somebody is like gonna win big here. So I just wanna know, Charlie, what's up? You talk so big to Amber. You think you're so big and bad bullying Chantal. Let's see if you have the balls to take, the balls to take me on. Uh, Cause I really don't think you do. And I think even though you're absolutely gonna see this challenge because this I'm tagging you in this video and I'm tagging you on Twitter and I know you're active on Twitter and I will com continue to tag you until you respond to me. So don't play that fucking game um, because I will come on here and tell everybody that you pussied out. So let's do it. Take me on one month weight loss challenge, you and me, Charlie. And I am going to kick your ass. So let's do it. You got nothing to lose, Charlie. If you're doing what you say you're doing, then you absolutely have nothing to lose. You have no reason to take on the challenge. Sound familiar? Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Don't give me shit that this is stupid because I only have 111 subscribers. I really don't care. This is a personal thing about me and Charlie. I don't fucking like her and I want to put her feet to the coals. So comment down below. 
I'll respond. I respond to all comments. And I will see you guys later. Bye.